All right, guys, we're at uh, West Center Tech today here in our new cycle lab, uh, and we're focused on two-stroke engines. And you guys are practicing numerous times. I know some of you are probably getting a little, uh, a little bored with having to do this over and over and over, but we've got a great example of a two-stroke uh, piston here that's a little more difficult to install the cylinder. We'll go ahead and focus in here now and have a close-up. This area right here is so narrow compared to a lot of them are pretty equal on these skirts here. The thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to take advantage of this lead-in and uh, allow that. We're going to grab the back side of the piston ring to where it's going to leave our, our side that we need to compress. And what we're trying to do, can you get the camera on here, I'll use this one, is we're trying to, flashlight, we're trying to compress this around and get that, that piston ring with its notched edges there is going to cradle that locating pin. So that locating pin, once this is installed, is going to prevent that ring from popping out into one of the ports uh, in operation. So it's extremely critical that we don't bend the ring or have any problems um, as we're doing installation. If we miss and we have this big heavy you know, 15 pound cylinder or whatnot, pushing on that ring. Look at with my finger with next to no effort. Do you see how I'm walking that out of the groove? It's, it's never going to go in there. I got to make sure that I'm, yeah, that I'm in the piston ring groove and then I'm going to be around that uh, pin. So watch me do this and you guys are going to uh, keep practicing this and you're going to see how this one is a little bit of a pain. So uh, one more tip is you notice here we're using a, a special tool, a uh, piston uh, stop here. This is nothing fancy, just a U-shaped tool here. And as we've been practicing this, when I had the rod on this back side, it seemed like every time we kind of moved it around, it wanted to stand up. So by basically putting the rod in the forward motion here, the normal direction of travel, it really seemed to secure this better. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, grab a hold of the cylinder nice and firm. We don't want to drop this here. And I'm going to uh, basically practice this compression of this uh, pin clip here. The video will probably do a little bit better job on this bottom one here. So now that I have that in place and I'm happy with what's going on, what I'm going to do is a little unconventional from what I showed you guys earlier, is I'm going to actually install this crooked. I was telling the guys to try and stay really sh uh, in line with the normal direction of the exhaust port to not be turned. But watch what happens when I use that lead in back here and I go around that ring I got on there really nice and easy. Okay, so now I'm going to take this bottom ring. I'm going to now work my way down here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this one in place. Can you see that on the video how basically I've just got that bottom one in place there? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to keep coming down. Okay, and what's going to happen here is I'm, I'm really good on the top. And watch what happens here. Do you see how when I get the camera on here, you see how I'm rocking that around? And you see how it's moving in relationship to that pin? Well, if I go too far this way, I'm preloading it really hard and it's not gonna wanna go in there all the way. It's going to wanna hang up or potentially get on top of that pin. So I'm rotating this around until I'm right in the middle. I can use my little screwdriver here to aid in this. And then I'm over it. And now once I'm over both, both piston rings, watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to rotate it into the proper position for assembly. But I want you to think about this. Did I preload that ring? Go ahead and back up. Look at me up here. Did I preload, when I turn this cylinder to, the, to my right here, did I preload that ring against that pin? I did, didn't I? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to kind of wiggle this around and, and, and you can feel this. Turn your stand right here. Wiggle that and feel how it stops. You can feel the catch. Yep. So what I'm going to do is, you see where I need to line this up? This is where I want to end up. I want to put that free play, if you will, right in the middle. I do not want to take this, pull it all the way to one side, and then slide it down onto the studs because that ring is going to be as tight as it can against that pin. Does that make sense? So I'm actually going to go too far in either way. I'm not hurting anything. I'm not coming out of the cylinder. And guys, we're just practicing. You put new gaskets on, um, <coughs> uh, assembly lube and stuff on the parts, but we're just taking it, you know, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. So I'm going to just kind of back and forth here, and I'm going to land that, that wiggle spot right there uh, in the middle. Watch that coming around. Okay. All right, we through? Yeah. All right.